Okay, so let's dive into the five day trading tips. My name is Lee Sanford, the founder of Trading College. Before we do that, I want to show you some exciting awards that we received at the London Traders Show 2023 for best trading software provider and best mentorship program 2023. So very exciting, very proud of the team here at Trading College. Okay, so let's dive into day trading. But before we do, what is a day trader? A day trader is somebody who trades for a few hours per day, somebody who closes all their trades before the end of the day, somebody who uses charts, systems, and indicators for your trading signals and strategies and setups, somebody that manages risk on every single trade. That's really important, guys. Don't forget to manage risk on every single trade that you take because you're not going to have 100% winning trades. Also pays themselves every single month. So you're trading the markets as a day trader and your job is to make a profit, to uh, grow your trading account and to pay you every single month. That's a day trader. That's day trading. We are closing trades before the end of the day. Now a swing trader or an investor, they're looking for longer term trades that last for weeks and weeks and weeks or sometimes months and months and months. A day trader does not do that. A day trader, you wanna make your money as quick as possible, preferably before most people start work, uh, a normal day's work from around 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, you wanna be trading from 7, 7.30 in the morning and uh, banking your profits and literally closing your trades down for the day. So let's dive into the tips here because this is the really important part which I think will help you. Now, first tip here is to think in terms of momentum, not trends, okay? You heard the words, you've heard the word trade with a trend, uh, which is um, for a day trader, isn't always the case, okay? So think about price, momentum, Let's dive into a chart now and I'll explain exactly what I mean. So we're here with the German DAX. Now German DAX is a really good market to day trade because it's volatile. You want to trade a market that moves. You don't want to trade, for example, a London Stock Exchange stock that barely moves a day. You want to be trading markets that move and give you those opportunities to make money. Now let's take a little look at tip number one really, which is just think about momentum. So here is the chart. Of course, as a day trader, we're using charts all the time. And we get buy signals to buy the German DAX. And we can say, and we can all agree that momentum is going higher. But as we make new highs in price, our storyteller indicator starts to make lower highs. So I would say momentum is dropping to the upside. Momentum is starting to shift to the downside. So as a day trader, I can short the market as well. I did shorts here, £372 on this trade and £253 on the same trade. So up, you know, just over £500 on this trade. I've already banked some profits as well. But, you know, if you look at somebody or speak to somebody about trading with the trend, a good old fashioned technical analyst will tell you, trade with the trend. But as a day trader, I'm using shorter time frames. I'm using one candlestick, basically. Remember, this is a daily chart. So think about trading with momentum on what the candlestick's gonna do today, not necessarily on the trend. Tip number two, use a bigger time frame for the bias, for the momentum, and a smaller time frame to get into the trade. So what that means is I want to use the momentum of the bigger time frames to get into the trade on a smaller time frame. So day traders here at Trading College will use the daily. We also use the four hour time frame. We'll also use the one hour time frame, but we'll use the five minutes to get into the trade. This is called the trigger. So our students will often use the 15 minute trigger to get into the trade. The bigger time frame pulls the momentum in either direction. The smaller time frame gets you into the trade with what we call risk reward. In this case, it's great risk reward. Let me show you what I mean by this now, guys. So here's that German DAX trade once again. Now the momentum on the daily chart is shifting to the downside from the upside so that we can go down to the smaller time frames, pick your time frame. Here's a 15 minute chart. 
So, if the bigger time frame momentum is going to go down, then we want to be entering on a signal to short on the 15, or I like to use the five minute time frame, okay? So I can have great risk reward. Now, let me show you what the risk reward could be. If my entry is here, my trigger, around this area here where these two lines were, my stop could just be above here. So if I find out, if I get another line here and work out, well, there's my uh, 15,510 and my entry is 15,400. That is 111 points there on the stop. But look at my reward. So if I'm entering here at 15,400, it's now trading at 15,17. It's been down all the way down to 15,000. So you can see here, I've risked 100 to make 400 on this particular trade. And while I'm doing this uh, um, uh, video for you guys and training for you, the stock markets in the uh, DAX and the indices have, have plummeted today, so the ranges are quite wide. So we'll talk about risk reward in a second, but use the bigger time frame for momentum, use the smaller time frame for your triggers. <clears throat> Tip number three, what is your trigger? Trigger meaning entry. What is the reason you're getting into the trade? You're just not guessing here. You might get the momentum right and the bias of this candlestick today, but where, what is the entry? What is the reason? You've got to have a reason to get into a trade. And it's, it's your trigger that's going to tell you when to get in and when to get out. Let's take a look at the example again. Okay, so remember, we're going to look at the momentum. Here's the momentum on the New Zealand CAD. Daily is green on the Pro Trend system, fire and momentum trigger. The momentum is up, not down. So, okay, so that's fine. Now we'll go down to the smaller time frame my trigger, here's my triggers. Okay, so the daily up, here's my trigger one, here's my trigger two. Now you're gonna have a momentum indicator on your chart, use that for your trigger. Here at Trading College, we're gonna use our proprietary software. We're gonna use the green buy signals on the PTS or the momentum on the Storyteller. We're keeping it really simple, okay. Bigger time frame is the momentum, smaller time frame is the trigger. In this case, green. We're looking for greens because the bigger time frame momentum is saying up, not down. We'll ignore the reds and just go long the greens. Tip number four, know your risk per trade. Now this is a really big one for everybody, especially if you're new to trading. You're not going to have 100% winning trades. You could have 50% winning trades and still make money because our winners are greater than our losers by multiples, okay? So if we're doing a risk reward ratio of three to one, we're risking one to make three. So risking 100 to make 300 pounds profit or dollars or euros, that's good. That's what we want to do. Now, if you're having uh, winning percentages around 60, 70, 80% and you're getting good risk reward, then that's a winner. That's something you want to be working towards. That is something you want to be aspiring to. Now, let's take a little look here. So we're looking in risk reward all the time. I'm gonna make two to risk one. Now, this is why you're using those smaller triggers, those smaller time frames to get into the trade as a day trader. So I wanna go down to the smaller time frame, get in. I could have a tighter stop and the bigger time frame is pulling the price in that direction, we could even get five, six, and sevens to one when we're risking money on a trade. You are risking money on a trade. Please make sure as a professional trader, you want to manage the risk. Losing traders do not manage the risk. They worry about, or they're concerned about the profits only. As a full-time trader, somebody that wants to be in this for the rest of your trading career, you will always wanna manage the actual risk guys, making sure, okay. Some people talk about it in a percentage of their trading account. Some people will talk about it just as a number. I'm gonna risk 100 pounds on this trade. I'm looking to make 300, 400, 500 pounds on this trade. Try and work above one to one. You wanna be doing two to one minimum, really on the trades, and also three and four to ones. Also, when a trade goes in your direction, think about moving your stop loss order to break even so you can't lose any money on the trade. Know what your risk is, and that is down to you. And of course, we've got that uh, all ironed out for you 
on our training programs and our courses and something that we do every single day. And if you're using the ProTrain system, it calculates that for you anyway. Tip number five, have a simple trading plan. Is this something you want to do forever? Do you want to get out the rat race? Do you not want to work any longer? And you want to give day trading a go? Well, just don't come into it without any education. You need a plan. What is your plan? It doesn't have to be a 350 page trading plan, which I saw once for some, from somebody, and that would really confuse me. It just needs to be an A4 piece of paper. Get your rules, the market, the strategies, your momentum, your triggers, your risk reward. Put those in your trading plan. When are you gonna trade, in the morning or in the afternoons? Are you gonna trade in the evening after work? How are you going to trade? Go and get yourself a cup of coffee in a coffee shop somewhere. Sit down with your laptop, start writing out your future, your trading plan, and keep it really, really simple. Now, here is a bonus for you as well. Once you've done and written that trading plan, decided what to do here, you've got to now deliver on that trading plan. Give yourself 20 days, 20 trades, and see how good you are. Start maybe with a demo account because you won't be risking real money. Also at Trading College, we have a Stealth Trader account where it, which is funded. So basically you could pay a small amount and you can get yourself funded for a minimum of $25,000 and start trading the markets. Maybe, as I said, start on a demo. But once you've got that trading plan, once you understand your trigger, your momentum, looking at the bigger time frames, what risk you're gonna do on every single trade, then it's all about delivering on it, okay? And that's what most successful people do. They deliver on their trading plan. Hope you enjoyed the five tips, guys. Uh, please join us here at Trading College if you want to go further and take your trading to another level. Speak to you soon.